Some amusement parks have an amazing one-two punch, but having a stellar number three in the park really creates a park worth visiting. Today, I will be looking at the best coaster trios in the country that I've ridden and ranking up my top 10. But before this video begins, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always unsubscribe during the video or whenever you want. Now let's hop into the top 10 one, two, three punches in America. At the number 10 spot is Six Flags Great America in Gurney, Illinois. Six Flags Great America has a diverse and amazing coaster collection, and their top three are no different. Goliath and Raging Bull are debated to be the best, with Goliath containing rapid and sustained ejector airtime, combined with the amazing hang time on the stall and dive loop, while Raging Bull focuses on sustained floater airtime and turns with its unique layout for a hyper. They combine for a great one-two punch, but Max Force rounds out the diverse top three with a punchy launch and five inversions to follow, including the world's fastest, which gives off great laterals and whip. Overall, you have a solid one-two-three punch with some diversity in it too. At the number nine spot is Busch Gardens Williamsburg in Williamsburg, Virginia. Before Pantheon came around, the three B&Ms at the park all fit perfectly together like puzzle pieces, and all contain different sensations, but Pantheon was the standout that Busch Gardens needed, and it is a full package coaster with multiple different types of airtime, forces, and even the backwards sensation. While Pantheon contains an array of sensations, Alpengeist and Apollo's Chariot are more one-sided with theirs, with Alpengeist having intense and snappy inversions, while also containing amazing positives, and Apollo having loads of floater and flow ejector airtime. Apollo and Alpengeist also have that amazing terrain and setting advantage, which makes an overall amazing top three. At the number eight spot is Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina and Fort Mill, South Carolina. While Carowinds is often considered to have a top-heavy coaster lineup, their top three proves to have solid variety, with the clear headliner being the Speed Machine Fury 3D5, which mixes in multiple forces, including ejector and floater airtime, quick transitions, and a long ride. Afterburn is mainly focused on quick and rapid inversions, although it mixes in some other forces, including bone-crushing positives and some airtime. Copperhead Strike is the only launch coaster at Carowinds, and it rounds out the top three perfectly with mixed moments from both Fury and Afterburn, but also puts a spin on it with plentiful hang time and theming. At the number 7 spot is Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri. Silver Dollar City has a lethal 1-2 punch, with the amazing RMC Wooden Coaster Outlaw Run, which has a stellar amount of airtime, hang time, and positives. On the other side of the park, there is the Jack of All Trades Time Traveler, which contains about everything you would want in a coaster, including the spinning. While while these two headline the park, their third best seems to fly under the radar, but it has a strong air launch, surprising floater airtime, and amazing views. The coaster I am talking about is Powder Keg, which has minimalistic restraints that allow for these moments to happen. You could also say that Wildfire is a contender for the top three in the park, but I didn't get to experience it on my visit to Silver Dollar City due to maintenance, so I went with Powder Keg for this lineup. Anyways, Silver Dollar City has an amazing top three, and it is a must-visit park for coaster enthusiasts. At the number 6 spot is Busch Gardens Tampa in Tampa Bay, Florida. Like Busch Gardens Williamsburg, Busch Gardens Tampa has a solid collection of B&Ms, but the two I chose for their top three is Montu and Kumba, which are both intense old school looping coasters, and while including both of them is not as diverse as including Shikra, they are the better coasters and counter Iron Gwazi's not very intense nature. Speaking of Iron Gwazi, this ride is the best in the park, and my number one coaster, as it contains a multitude of forces and airtime. The best moments on this ride are the intense and snappy death roll, and the outer bank over the station. Overall, these three coasters combined to create a strong park, and the rest of the park is great as well. At the number 5 spot is SeaWorld Orlando in Orlando, Florida. Before 2022, SeaWorld Orlando had one of, if not the best B&M lineups in the country. And the top three at the park all consisted of them. Mako is an elite being a hyper coaster with powerful and sustained moments of floater airtime, and a great setting. Manta, on the other hand, has graceful and high off the ground elements, including some heartline rolls and the amazing pretzel loop, along with soaring over ponds with stunning water effects off ride. Kraken is the large scale BM floorless coaster, but I didn't rank it at the top three at the park because of Icebreaker, the premier multi launch coaster that has solid airtime in both the front and back, and the backward section is great as well. I haven't experienced the ride without comfort collars yet 
but when I go back to SeaWorld next week, I will see how the experience is. At the number four spot is Hershey Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Hershey is a large amusement park with 13 coasters, and they have a solid top five, including three Intamins, but I only included two on this list, which is Skyrush and Stormrunner. Skyrush is an intense coaster that contains powerful ejector airtime and positives, but the restraints can take away from the ride experience. Stormrunner is a rapid-fire accelerator coaster with a great launch, and the drop off the top pad is powerful. In the Flying Snake Dive, which will send you flying out of your seat for multiple seconds. The reason I didn't choose Fahrenheit for this top three is because it has very similar elements to both Stormrunner and Skyrush, although the beyond vertical drop and short trains make it unique. The third coaster is the other hyper in the park, Candemonium, which is a crowd-pleasing B&M coaster that contains a variety of floater airtime moments. Overall, you have a great top three lineup that makes the park one of the best in the country. At the number three spot is Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. The first two of the King's Parks has a solid top five, but out of them I had to cut Orion and Beast, as Orion is very similar to Diamondback, the B&M Hyper, and it doesn't add a ton to the lineup, while the Beast is outclassed by Mystic Timbers in almost every aspect, except for length and night rides. Mystic Timbers is a stellar GCI with sustained floater airtime and laterals, while also being close to a full package experience with some theming. <coughs> the Shed. Diamondback is a B&M hyper with sustained airtime on the drop, camelback hills, and smaller bunny hills, along with having the longer staggered seating train that allow for more whip. The third best coaster in this lineup is Banshee, a long and sprawling inverted coaster that mixes positives and whip with hang time and floaty sensations, along with the intense pretzel knot which leads to the fastest point of the ride. At the number two spot is King's Dominion in Doswell, Virginia. King's Dominion has an insane top two with the insane Giga Coaster Intimidator 305, which has a gut-wrenching first drop and positive fill turns, while also having some great airtime. Twisted Timbers may not be as intense, but it contains a slew of airtime, including the crazy triple camelbacks, the trick track double up, and I could go on, but we would be here for at least 10 more minutes. Twisted also has the unique barrel roll drop, which gives off whip, whip and hang time and the other two inversions accomplish the same. While I-305 and Twisted Timbers are amazing together, when you have Dominator, the large and intense B&M Floorless 2, King's Dominion really shines in their top coasters. And to probably no one's surprise, at the number one spot is Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. Cedar Point has always reigned king with their coaster lineup, and their top three proves no different. Led by Steel Vengeance, an airtime-filled RMC coaster that also mixes in whip and positives, and that has a ride length that feels like forever. The other major coaster in Frontier Town is Maverick, the intense intimate blitz coaster with a whippy drop in turns, sustained airtime on the camelbacks, and a great punch on the second launch, not to mention the stangle dives at the end of the ride, which will try to violently whip you out of the train. The third coaster in this lineup is the original Giga Coaster, Millennium Force, which gives a barrage of airtime on both the drop and airtime hills, big or small, while also having positive filled turns like the first and last overbank, in a beautiful setting with the lift hill right next to the water. Overall, CP has an unbeatable lineup with their top three which will stay strong for years to come. If you enjoyed this video, then consider hitting the like button to get this out to more people, and comment your favorite top three in a park. Anyways, this is Zero G Coaster signing off. Have a great day and see you on the next train.